Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to do a trailer review for Kung Fu Panda 3. And I'm going to be talking about both the Chinese trailer that released on Saturday, June 13th, that got leaked and then got taken down, and then the US trailer that just released on Thursday, the 18th of June. Now, I'm a huge fan of both of the Kung Fu Panda movies. I love these movies. These are some of DreamWorks' best work in my opinion. Obviously, I wouldn't be owning these movies on DVD if I didn't like or love them. But yeah, I'm a huge fan of these movies and it's been five years since Kung Fu Panda 2 right here. And then, you know, for those that haven't seen Kung Fu Panda 2, it does end with a cliffhanger. And ever since that cliffhanger, Waiting five long years for Kung Fu Panda 3, it was not easy to do. I'm not going to lie to you guys. But at the same time, I understand why we had to wait five years because I'm sure DreamWorks wants to make as good of a third film as they possibly can, especially for where they left off at the end of the second movie. Both trailers are very different. The Chinese trailer is a little shorter than the American trailer. The Chinese trailer was very epic. Obviously, since it's in Chinese, the little bit of dialogue that they have are all in Chinese, but you don't need to have any translation. You could get an idea of what they're saying. The, the Chinese trailer has little dialogue with a whole bunch of clips from the movie with groundbreaking awesome epic music just playing throughout the trailer and we get a little bit of what the villain of this movie named Kai voiced by yes JK Simmons will be in this movie so we get a little bit of what the villain will be like he's not someone to be messed with and you could catch all those details even though the dialogue isn't Chinese. But there's not too much dialogue, it's just a bunch of these uh, clips and Poe and the Furious Five will be heading. So it'll be cool, I love the animation. I mean, oh my God, the animation looks gorgeous. It really blew me away. You also do get a brief shot of Rebel Wilson's character that she will be voicing. That's really it, the Chinese trailer is only like, a minute or even less than a minute at best so that's all i have to say for a chinese trailer it was epic it was beautiful i love the music that was playing it flowed well with the trailer so i love loved 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 the chinese trailer the u.s trailer is far more different than the chinese trailer because while the chinese trailer gives you bits and pieces of scenes that we're going to see in the film this one only has like pretty much two scenes, one major one. So in this one, we just see Poe and the Furious Five. They're doing their usual training in the training room. That was the first scene. And it cuts to the next scene where Poe sees his father. And that's right, the father is voiced by Brian Cranston. And I think that is so epic. Now, the Chinese trailer has the epic feel to it. This one was obviously just to play for laughs, and there's nothing wrong with that because I also loved this trailer f at, in terms of comedy. Now, of course, I do think the Chinese trailer is better because it's more epic, it's beautiful, and it really just blew me away. This one, like I said, is just for like laughs. And I was laughing so hard because in terms of trailers, I haven't laughed so hard at a trailer in a long time. And I love that so far, both the Chinese and the US trailer, they really don't give you any details. They give you a little insight to the movie, but you still don't know what the movie is all about. So I gotta respect both the Chinese and the U.S. trailer for that. And I thought it was so funny how Lee Shane, I believe that's the character's name, Poe's father, he says how he's looking for his son, and then Poe's saying how he's looking for his father, and then the two of them, they're, yeah, they're idiots. Like, how do you not recognize your own son or your own father? Uh, but it made me laugh so hard, especially with the group there, just looking at them in shock, like, they're related. 
they're related. And then the trailer ends with Poe saying, I hope you find your father. And Lee Shen is all like, I hope you find your father. And the two of them walk away and everyone just face palms and goes, oh my gosh. So I love that. And I love the, how the Kung Fu Panda 3 logo looked. That looked great. Followed by them showing us the cast list at the end of the trailer. So both trailers don't give you much and I think that's great. One was epic and blew me away. One was just meant to be very funny and I love this US trailer just for being funny and those are my thoughts you guys. I love both trailers but if I have to be completely honest I do think the Chinese trailer is just a little bit better just because it's more epic and the way it flowed was just so beautiful. I am looking forward to Kung Fu Panda 3. It is one of my most anticipated movies for 2016 and I know what you're all thinking it's coming out in January. What's supposed to be the stink pile of the month. Yeah I will admit it is weird that it's all of a sudden delayed to January the 29th but still regardless for the fact that it is going to be a January movie I have a lot of hope for Kung Fu Panda 3. I really hope it's really good because I waited five years. It's finally coming before I know it. So Kung Fu Panda 3, I'm definitely pumped. If you've seen both the Chinese, the US, or at least one of them, let me know in the comments down below what did you think. Are you excited for Kung Fu Panda 3 or does it not exactly have your interest. Let me know in the comments down below you guys. This is 22 Tiger Dude here and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!